Hey, good morning, everybody. We're um, in the parking lot this morning of some place just a little different. We received a flyer in the mail yesterday from a particular restaurant, and they were offering some uh, interesting coupons. So we decided to come this morning uh, just to check it out because it sounded like something I had never experienced before. So join me, if you will, while we explore this most unusual of common restaurants. So from where I'm currently standing, we're at the corner of Sand Lake Road and International Drive, about a block from the I-4 on-ramp. Here you can see the, the wheel at Icon Park in the distance, and you can see right here is the uh, I-4 on-ramp sign, and behind us is uh, one of the Rosen Hotels. Up over the building there, you can see a uh, advertisement for Hollywood Studios. But where are we, you ask? We are at the world's largest entertainment McDonald's. What is an entertainment McDonald's, you ask? It's a good question. Sure hope you like clowns, though. You ever seen a McDonald's with a pizza oven? This really is just a huge McDonald's. The ground, this is the ground level. I think there's an upstairs too. We gotta go check that out. But seriously, yeah, it's got a pizza oven. So they have chocolate cake, cheesecake, peanut butter cake. The standard biscuit sandwiches McDonald's always has. They got build your own omelets. They've got ham and cheese French toast. Belgian waffles. You can get sides of cream cheese. So it looks like most of the unusual items are sort of like the omelet. So that's what we're gonna get. We're gonna get it with sausage, cheese, and onions. And that's some spinach too. So this is where I'm going to have a seat and wait on my order. Uh, they have a gigantic beverage station over here with two Coke Freestyle machines. Seating all over the place, big giant picture windows. Another beverage station over here. So this is the pizza oven area. Also where they're making the omelets. And then there's a bar where you can sit up here and watch as they make the pizza and the omelets. Okay, so the food is here. This looks fantastic. I got a sausage, cheese, and onion omelet. Comes with a hash brown. And then also a Belgian waffle I got with strawberries and whipped cream. Okay, so I just finished up. I ate half of it. <laughs> I'm gonna take half of the gym. I don't know if she'll eat it or not. She's uh, typically not a fast food eater. But this is a little elevated for fast food. This is not your standard McDonald's. I was pretty impressed. So this location is, I'd say it's less than a mile to Universal. And it's probably a good 20 minutes from Disney property. So if you're, you're coming to Disney and you have a car and you want to do something different with kids, 
for, you know, for breakfast, or, you know, we're going to have to come back and try the pizza for lunch sometime. Uh, obviously, they're, they're not serving pizza right now. Gotcha. And is there a is there a date that you think that's gonna return, or is um, it just? I'm hoping soon. We're just putting on the green light for McDonald's. Right. And we're doing everything we can. And we're 100% supposed to be able to help that out. Wow. So this uh, arcade is upstairs. This is massive, guys. This is this is like a whole Chuck E. Cheese and a McDonald's. Who's going gold fishing? You know, I uh, I remember a lot of these games from going to Chuck E. Cheese. Wow, this place is massive. Look, we win all kinds of tickets in there. Claw machine. 500 tickets, 100 tickets. Wow. Of course, you gotta have ski ball. I don't know what that is, but that looks fun. It's got a, a space monkey. Got a love a space monkey. So, here's the little store where you can trade in all your tickets, some of the prizes. They have the smaller prizes down here five tickets. 50 tickets up to 100 and looks like 140 tickets. And then some of the bigger prizes back there in the back. I see up to 2,750 tickets for a Nerf Star Wars blaster. That looks like maybe that's the big prize. So here is the gigantic play place, which is closed currently. Obviously due to COVID-19, um, but it looks like this is a, a huge, huge play place that any kid would be glad to play in. So here's the prices. $20 game card is two hours of unlimited play. $10 is one hour, $5 for 30 minutes. Uh, or you can get standard game cards. $5 game card is 30 credits. Uh, up to a hundred dollar game card for 600 credits plus 400 bonus. I mean, that's really not a bad deal. 20 bucks for two hours on unlimited play. And there's also a huge additional seating area up here for the adults with some TVs. Uh, let the kids go wild and you can come over here and sit. We've also got touch screens on some of the tables. Uh, you can apply for a job. Uh, you can get the weather, you can play games. Got some local artwork up on the wall. Well, I love this one. That's fantastic. And I love these windows overlooking International Drive. And then something that some of you may remember if you're of a certain age. I know certainly I remember it. There's the Moon Man. You don't really see him anymore, do you? For anybody who doesn't remember, it's the uh, McDonald's mascot there for a little while. I want to say probably in the late 80s. Really, this is this is a uh, this is an attraction in and of itself. If you're staying at one of the Universal hotels, literally you're you're five minutes, ten minutes away. So if you're in a car, I would definitely recommend coming here. If you, whoa, okay. Okay, so from the top floor of the McDonald's, like I said, this is only a few minutes away from most of the Universal Resort hotels. So if you're staying there and you have your own car, definitely make a trip down here. This is something that uh, you're not going to see everywhere, obviously. Uh, if you're if you're at Disney, it's about 15, 20 minute car car ride, but it's still worth the trip. Uh, you want something different for the kids? Uh, definitely try it out. Sand Lake Road at International Drive, world's largest entertainment McDonald's. We'll see you here.